Hey yo everybody, Haku here with my live reaction for Boku no Hero Academia Chapter 191. I had to read this first, I had to read it before One Piece. Um, but I don't know if I'll post it before One Piece. Because the thing is, we all know YouTube's trying to kill everyone's channels, but I don't know if I post two videos too close to one another, if it more kills the first video when I post the second one, or if it more just kills everything when I post the second one too close to the first. So I have no idea which one it kills when, um, so I might post One Piece first, so that more of you see this when it comes out? I have no idea. Uh, that also, I think the deciding factor is going to be the thumbnail, because a lot of times it I put more work and effort into the Boku no Hero Academia thumbnail, so they take a little longer, and that's usually why I post One Piece first. So that might be the deciding factor again, too, is what I plan to do for thumbnails after I read both. But either way, I'm super excited. Let's read 191. Um, gosh, it sucks. Like, I've been so hyped even just waiting a week for this one. I have I got the 45-minute uh, review or whatever. Uh, up on the channel for last chapter in a huge discussion, so uh, I'm not going to get into much recap discussion before I read. I'm just going to get into reading. So uh, we're starting off with Dobby here from Endeavor's point of view. Confronting the wounded Endeavor is... Who? My, my vision is blurry. I had the breathing. I caught wind that you were here, you see. This is Dobby. You're the one who murdered Snatch, or so I hear. The League of Villains, Dobby. Okay, that's a really cool panel. That's really cool. Chapter 191, Dobby Hawk's Endeavor. And see, I have no idea what to expect from this, because it's not this really, like, artsy, impactful chapter name. It's just the name of the characters. So, I have no idea. We got Emo Burning Boy, Big Burning Boy, and then uh, Bird Boy. Oh god. Oh man, I'm, I'm like so nervous and hyped up at the same time. Now Dobby starts generating flames and he surrounds them. Snap, who? Doesn't ring a bell. More importantly, let's have a little chat. Opportunities like this don't come so often. Youch, and we have the uh, other two heroes unable to get to them. Everything's on fire, hot, hot, hot. Okay. Blue flames, the snot endeavor. Man, they're strong. Oh, and now we have the um, people filming the news crew up in the helicopter. That's Dobby, a member of the League of Villains. He's put up a wall of flames, completely surrounding Endeavor and Hawks. It's him. That's a bold move. What's he trying to accomplish? We have Aizawa and everyone watching on. And then Shoto thinks back to him. Dobby. And then Endeavor collapses over. No, you need to rest. I'll take care of him, says Hawks. I only have these puny feathers left, but at the very least I can stall for time. Hey, give me a break, would you? I just came to take back that Nomu. I mean, there's no way I could win, says Dobby. Oh, shit. He is going to take High End back against the top two heroes when they're both on Death's doorstep. Unless he's just screwing around, because he could maybe win. But he's going for an attack. Man, Endeavor's face. And then, what the hell? Who is... What the hell is this? Miruko for the save? Oh my god, waifu taimu. Let's go. I saw the news and hopped right over. Looks like things are really heating up, eh? <laughs> or heating up here, eh, Endeavor? Hawks? Oh my god, and she speaks in puns too? How could you be even more sexy? You're one of those League of Villains bastards, ain't ya? I'll kick you to kingdom come. Look at this cost. Oh, her feet. I wonder if her feet are actually like that, like under the boots. Sexy. Best girl ever. You cannot get better than light hair, dark skin, and dem muscles. My god. Best girl. Miruko. Man, just when things were getting good, says Dobby. A little help, Ujiko. Okay. So now this is whoever's quirk that All for One had that time. Man, so we aren't really going to get to see anything happen? What the hell? But it looks like Dobby, or maybe Dobby's summoning someone. Maybe he isn't getting taken away. 
Everybody stares at him as the stuff comes out of his mouth. Catch you later, Mr. Number One Hero. Well, this was disappointing. This was like, why bring him in just to take him back out? Nothing happened here. W whatever. Catch you later, Mr. Number One Hero. I'm sure we'll have another chance to talk, but until then, break a leg out there. But don't go kicking the bucket, Todoroki Enji. Yo, and it looks like his mouth, the like stuff is ripping off from it. Don't go kicking the bucket, Todoroki Enji. How about you talk right now? And Miyaku goes in for a kick, and then he's gone. Confusion. He's gone. Damn it. Ugh, that stuff stinks. She sniffs her leg. Isn't this the same thing that happened in Kamino? So I guess Ujiko is the real owner of the quirk. I wonder how they got to keep it. How they got to keep it if All for One took it, unless it has something to do with that doctor. Weird. Or how he was able. Or how Dobby was able to communicate just by yelling their name. Weird. Again, though, it kind of makes you like. It's kind of annoying that they brought in Dobby and had this interaction just for, like, nothing to come of it. Unless High End did survive and he really did get High End out of there, but I don't know. Well, for the time being, says Hawks. The crisis, er, the crisis has been. Dobby has retreated. The enemy has vanished. And we see All Might watching and Endeavor's kids. I know my voice cannot reach, cannot reach our heroes, but allow me to say this. Endeavor and Hawks, they protected us to the last. They risked their very lives and they won. I guess that's another one in the books, eh? Says Hawks. <laughs> Here stands the new top hero. I want nothing more but to tell him thank you. And I wonder if Endeavor is going to remember something about his son? We see the crowd cheering on from before. And Endeavor loses consciousness. That was different from what we discussed. Is that so? I was... Oh, yep. Traitor. I was hoping we'd get along better than this, Dobby. Everybody called Hawks being a traitor, but it seems it seemed like he wasn't going to be because he risked himself so much. What the hell? Unless this is... Toga. But probably not. I was hoping we'd get along better than this, Dobby. Oh? I thought you only had weak feathers left. Well, I can't exactly meet with a liar unarmed. Okay. The plan was for tomorrow, at the factory, on the coast, not in the middle of a damn city. Not to mention that Nomu, it was on a completely different level from the ones we've seen so far. I'd prefer you tell me these things in advance. I changed my mind. I, did I forget to mention it would be a test of the Nomu's abilities? My bad. But I wasn't the only one who acted outside of the plan, now was I? You said you'd send some random strong guy, but sending the number one hero doesn't exactly make for a good test. Did that ever occur to you? Well, hey, it did some serious damage to the number one. You should be happy. I haven't broken my promise. You're the only one who went back on his word. But it's even more unreasonable for you to think that I'd just trust the number two hero right off the bat. So this was also a test to see if you were trustworthy. Okay, a lot of this doesn't make a lot of logical sense, at least right now. But oh well. Why exactly did today's little event get resolved with Zero deceased? It's hard to believe someone who sympathized with our cause and requested to cooperate with, with us would act in such a way. I've got to keep up appearances on my end. I can't afford to lose the faith that's been placed, as, placed in me as a hero. The more confidence everyone has in me, the more valuable the information that I'll receive, and that information is beneficial for you all. You should really be looking at the big picture here. Everything I do, I do for the League, Dobby. Well, I still won't let you meet the boss for the time being, but I'll contact you again, Hawks. Alright. So that was a test for High End. I'm wondering if he did survive. We haven't, we haven't got to see him, so I just, I really have no clue right now. Hawks, you're to gain the favor of the League of Villains. Huh? Hold up a minute, what are you saying? Weren't you putting together a search team with Grand Torino and company? Where did you hear about that? We haven't even made an announcement about it yet. Okay, so this is the head of the uh, Heroes Department. So they were going to get Hawks to team up. And to do so, they were willing to sacrifice a random strong hero, and Hawks just chose Endeavor. Well, that's weird. And doesn't make tons of sense, really. But either way, 
That's why we're asking this of you, Hawks. You've got sharp eyes and ears. During the attack on Kamino, we were in a rush to ensure the safety of victims and those taken captive. As a result, we lacked enough information. We misjudged the villain's power. In order to exterminate this dark organization, we need as much information as we can get. More specifically, pertaining to those modified humans, are they able to make them with one for all? <clears throat> with one for all's power alone? We need every last bit of information about the League laid bare, or else we'll simply be repeating our past errors. So you're telling me to just ignore all the victims they'll create while I'm off trying to butter them up? Yes, we're asking this of you because we believe you're up to that task. You're not concerned with fame or prestige. You only focus on, on the long-term goal and take action accordingly. We feel that there's no one more suitable for this job than you. <clears throat> and we see... Uh, hand on the door and Endeavor in bed. I wonder, it would actually be pretty great if Ray was the one that came to see Endeavor instead of him coming to see her in the hospital. Uh, they decide, Horikoshi decides to reverse those roles. This is weird though. I guess it does kind of make sense that Hawks would go along with being okay with the villains because of the way he's laid back, or being okay with the victims because he's so laid back, but still, weird. And we don't know if he's really a double agent and actually decides to work for the villains. Or why he chose Endeavor. Or maybe he chose Endeavor because he knew Endeavor could survive and this is his act of rebellion. And we didn't get any information on Dobby. So I'm going to say it was really good, but at the same time really, really disappointing. I felt like they would do a lot more than have Dobby show up and then just leave. But I guess... I. Did we? Was there a panel of high end anywhere? Because Dobby said he was there to collect them. This Ugoki, or not, that wasn't their actual name. I got their name totally wrong. But whoever teleported him out of there. Sorry, as I'm discussing, I'm flipping back through to see if there's anything else I missed. Miruko is like top wife, whoever. But I just, I don't know what I think about this chapter. There was a lot that was disappointing. So we see him disappearing into Goop. Of course he knows that he's Todoroki Enji, but I don't really think secret identities in this world are super duper secret from what we've seen. Weird. Hmm. Is there anything I'm missing? Ujiko. That's who it was that teleported him out. So it's weird because I thought if you took somebody, if All for One took somebody's quirk, like what happened with um, Ragdoll, it would just be gone for good. But somehow Ujiko still has this quirk, even though All for One took it. So I've got no clue how that works. So strange. Okay. I'm just still trying to look back to see if I missed anything. Because High End should have been just behind Endeavor, but we don't ever see him at all. And the thing it and the thing was it was a test for the Nomu. And I think if they do somehow rescue High End or maybe the doctor has a way to like revitalize him or something it's kind of best case scenario because instead of having a bunch of sentient nomus I think it would be better storyline wise if it was something that's like so rare and difficult and maybe only because of the person that was made into a nomu was it possible um, I think having something so rare that it's like a one-time thing is best for the story I think it's best if high-end is the only high-end so I'm looking at this meeting between the two of them. Huh. So odd. It was a very odd chapter. But I guess we didn't see Haiyan, so I guess maybe they did teleport him out of there. Just so strange. Oh, we have another page. Okay. Endeavor. I'm sorry. I. Ah, oh yeah. That Snatch guy, he remembers. <laughs> I thought of, I thought so hard about it, I went crazy. Dobby Hawks and Endeavor, three men, three ideologies, next issue a color page. Sorry if that annoyed you, I admit, I thought I had checked before I went back to discuss. But yeah. Oh well. I wonder if Endeavor's gonna lose the uh, eye for good. 
But it looks like he's saying I'm sorry, and I kind of believe him. I think he probably used Endeavor because he thought he was the best chance of staying alive and not creating victims. Oh well. And Dobby's bleeding, actually, from uh, under his eyes. Huh. It seems like there's... I wonder what ha what's up with Dobby. Because... The, like, Horikoshi wouldn't just show him bleeding from underneath the eye things if it wasn't important to the story. Huh. But he seems happy, and we've never really seen Dobby happy like this. So I guess maybe it is, uh... Maybe it is because they're trying to do more foreshadowing for him being Endeavor and Endeavor's son and Shoto's brother. Especially since, uh... The bleeding is coming from the same eye that both of them have scars around now. Huh. Oh well. Really weird one. Really, really weird one. Uh, so I guess I'll, I'll get this posted as soon as I can. Uh, just really unsure about everything that happened here. Uh, but either way, uh, like if you did like the video, comment down there to tell me what you thought of my first thoughts and reaction, what you thought of this chapter and all that. Um, subscribe for more Boku no Hero Academia, both anime and manga. We get to get Shiketsu in tomorrow's episode. I'm so happy for. Um, so excited to get there. Uh, so yeah, follow on Twitter if you want. I can try to keep you updated there and start for the channel. Or if you want a link to our Discord server to talk to me or more of us there, then just ask and I'll give you a link. That's it. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.